God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. You are my rescuer, my help. O Lord, do not delay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This Holy Master, the glory of God. And so, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their Creator and God, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Nehemiah. See, over the mountains the messenger hopes, peace he proclaims. Judah, celebrate your feasts, carry out your vows. For Belial will never pass through you again. He is utterly annihilated. Yes, the Lord is restoring the vineyard of Jacob and the vineyard of Israel. For the plunderers have plundered them, and have they, they have broken off their branches. Woe to the city soaked in blood, full of lies, stuffed with booty whose plundering is no no end. The crack of the whip, the rumble of wheels, the galloping horse, jolting chariot, charging cavalry, flash of swords, gleam of spears, a mass of wounded, hosts of dead, countless corpses. They stumble over the dead. I am going to pelt you with filth, shame you, make your public show, and all who look on you will turn their backs on you and say, Nineveh is a ruin. Could anyone pity her? Where can I find anyone to comfort her? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. It is the Lord who deals death and life. It is the Lord who deals death and life. It is close to the day of their ruin. Their doom comes at speed. For the Lord will see his people righted. He will take pity on his servants. It is the Lord who deals death and life. See now that I, I am he, and beside me there is no other God. It is I who deal death and life. When I am struck, it is I who heal. It is the Lord who deals death and life. When I have whetted my flashing sword, I will take up the cause of right. I will give my cause as good again. I will repay those who hate me. It is the Lord who deals death and life. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy are those who are persecuted in the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself, take up his cross and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. What then will a man gain if he wins the whole world and ruins his life? Or what has a man to offer in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man is going to come in the glory of his Father with his angels. And when he does, he will reward each one according to his behaviour. I tell you solemnly, there are some of these standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming with his kingdom. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The lesson in today's Gospel is hard and will take a lifetime to learn. And so we pray and ask for strength. God our Father gives us love. In ourselves we are empty. May we follow him faithfully today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For men and women who, for whatever reason, are obliged to take a strain and bring enough children on their own. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy. It's often easy life is an illusion. We live only when we know God. Grant that we do not reach out for the whole world and let go of life itself. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy. May we practice in small things so as to be able to take up with the heavy cross when it comes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy. For the sick, especially Bill Bennett, Margaret Higginbottom, Madeleine Bimington. John Bally, Iris Pierce, Carol Raymond, Rosemary Stapleton, Stephen Ripper, Carmen Holtzman. For the long term sick and housebound, Joyce Waller, John Mullin, Brian Keenan, Louisa Simpson, Angela Ellis, and Kenny Minton. For those in hospital and hospices, nursing and care homes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy. We give thanks and pray for those who care for the sick and the dying, for those who work to find cures for the world's ills. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, for the recently departed Dorothy Drayton, Dorothy Faraday, and Diane Bean. For those whose ears minds at this time, John Parsons. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all God's faithful people to the intercession of the saints in heaven. But especially we ask the prayers of Mary, ever Virgin Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In a few moments of silence, we offer to God our private petition. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for in your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be you, Lord.
our garden of creation, for pure goodness we receive the wine we offer, which is the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Sisters, and my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, and praise and glory in his name, for our good and the good of the Lord, this holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accept in the oblation of his spiritual sacrifice, faith in an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord.
and the Saviour's command informed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to turn to our apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live in vain for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I pray am Lord. worthy that you should enter and the Lamb. But it's only say a word, and the soul shall be. You have given us, O Lord, bread from heaven, and down with all delights and sweetness in every taste.
better. But come here with constant protection, O Lord, those giving you with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. Keep your family with me, O Lord, in your constant care, so that under your protection they may be free from all troubles. And by good works, show dedication to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.